Okay, we've just introduced the Ultimaker Advanced 3D Printing Kit to our range. So today we're going to be unboxing it, showing you what's inside, and then showing you how it works on this Ultimaker 2 Plus. Okay, so let's get the box opened and have a look inside. The first thing we've got in here is the door for the Ultimaker 2 Plus. It's worth noting that the taller door for the extended version is available too. We have 25 adhesion sheets in here to help your, your prints stick to the bed and uh, not warp up at all. We've got two 0.4 nozzles in there. Um, this is because when, we're, when you're switching between different materials, there's uh, much more chance of blockages happening, so it's, it's really good to have a few extra available. And we've also got two TFM couplers. Again, these will experience more wear when you're switching between different materials. With our Ultimega 2 Plus, we've been printing predominantly with PLA plastic. Um, so now we've got the advanced 3D printing kit, we're going to be trying something a, bit, a little bit more challenging. So we're going to be printing with ABS. Now if possible, it's worth changing the nozzle and just reserving a nozzle just for ABS. You're going to improve the reliability a lot if you do that. You don't have to do it, but it's going to improve the reliability. So I'm going to take the nozzle off. So firstly, you want to make sure that the material is unloaded. We've got some PLA plastic in there at the moment, so I'm just going to unload the filament now. So now the filament is removed. I can just go cancel because we're not going to load any more in. And now you just want to switch off the machine and give it 10 or 15 minutes to cool down fully. So now that the printers, the nozzles are cooled down, I'm just going to move the extruder to the front and then undo it with a 7mm socket. And now I'm going to put in the new nozzle that was in the kit. There we go. And that's the new nozzle on. Okay, so now let's put the adhesive sheet onto the, onto the glass plate. So I'll just remove it from the printer. Right, so it does go over the edge a little bit. That's not really a problem because it is a little bit wider than the actual fill plate. And then I'm just going to use a business card to try and... keep the air bubbles out. You might get the odd air bubble. Um, it's not the end of the world. But try and keep it as smooth as possible. And then you can just fold the excess around the back. And then that's ready to go back into the printer. And now we're ready to install the door, which is really quite straightforward. You just slot the top in first, push it all the way up, and then it will just slot into place and then drop down to lock into place. So when you want to remove it, you just lift it up like that, tilt out the bottom, and then it's ready to come out. So we'll put it on, ready for our ABS print that we're going to do in a moment. So today we are going to be using Ultimaker's own ABS filament. Um, we found that this works best with this machine. There are other ABS filaments that you can use. Uh, this is just our, our preference really. Just going to purge out all the material all the previous material until it comes out um, all in ABS back. That should probably do it. And then select ABS. And now we're ready to set off our print. Okay, so our ABS print has finished. Let's take it off and have a look. 
Now, first impressions, um, it doesn't look like it's walked up at all, um, which is quite impressive. Um, when we've tried to do this without uh, the door and this print surface, um, it, it did warp up a little bit. So I'm quite impressed at how well it's stuck down. So I've got a Biltac spatula here for removing it. Just prise that underneath. Okay, so it has ripped a hole in the printed sheet, the adhesion sheet. They're not really designed uh, to last much more than one print, uh, but you do have 25 of them in the box, and it's left a little bit of residue on the actual bottom of the print, um, but nothing too problematic that can just be removed. Um, if you are looking for an alternative to the, these adhesion sheets, I would definitely recommend um, a Biltac sheet instead. Um, they're a little bit more robust, will last a little bit longer. Um, so that's another alternative. Um, but I've been really impressed with the door um, and the fact you get two nozzles and two TFMs in the pack, it's actually quite good value if you look at buying those parts individually. So if you would like to buy one of these, then click in the link in the top right corner. And if you do have any questions about the product, then please leave your comments in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.